Hello everyone, good morning. Here is 10.30 a.m. in China and this is our first uh, video which we're recording with US Argentina and today on the call is Chiti. Hello Chiti. Hello, how are you guys? Very good, everything is fine. So we start uh, serious videos introducing blog producers on Meet One sidechain and we, I would like you to hear some brief introduction from you. Sure, sure. Well, EOS Argentina is an independent blog producer. Uh, we are a group of um, crypto community members that we've been in crypto since uh, around 2012, 2013. Uh, we have a lot of experience with other DPoS chains, especially first uh, Dan Larimer project, which was BitShares. We have two, two top witnesses there. And then we went on to Steam and it was only natural to, to, to go to EOS once it came about. We, we have a lot of knowledge with the graphene technology, which is what, you know, what, uh, what feeds not just EOS, but all the side chains as well, like Mid1. So um, we are basically uh, specialized on DPoS uh, block production. Very nice, very nice. So how many people in your team? Yeah, we have like core, uh, four core members and then we have like employees that, uh, you know, some, some people that come and go and do some design or some UX. Uh, but we have four full-time members and then we have another three that, that we hire for specific projects. All right. So full-time like uh, co-founders is four people, right? Yes, 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 okay. yes. Can you, can you, a couple words about them, their names uh, and where they are? Yeah, well, we have... Right? Um, our, our main technical guy is, of course, El Mato, which is Matias Romeo. Uh, this is a person that has been in BitShares from the beginning like, as a top witness. He knows Dan Latimer personal. Uh, he went on to work at Block One as well. Uh, he, he worked at Block One for one year, so he knows everybody there. He knows the code. He, he wrote part of the code, uh, the snapshot plugins and so on. So... He's a great asset for us to have. He has a lot of experience and he's a very well-known community member in Latin America for you know, his, his contributions. Um, then we have Mini, which is, he was also a bit serious witness. Mm -hmm. uh, he's also a very talented uh, young developer. Uh, he's been in bitches and he, you know, he's just been great since the beginning. He just understands everything inside out. Um, so he, he, he's really good at maintaining servers and server infrastructure and, and all the security parts as well. Um, then we have uh, Martin, which is our main person for the events. One of the main things that we do is we carry out events in different parts of Argentina. Uh, so, so we tell people, you know, what Mid1 is, what the sidechain is, what is an EOS, uh, how, how does it work? Uh, so he's the one that organizes all the events and he takes care of, of the contacts. Um, and then you have me, Chitty, who I do a little bit of everything, really. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the one that is probably more, more, most exposed to, to, to the international public, uh, but I also like to get on the service as well. I have a steam witness and, you know, I just try to do everything, really. That's cool. That's cool. So you are a person who bounded different people and keep in negotiation with the uh, yeah we with the knew each other from 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 the community. You know, we knew each other from the community. So it was just it was just natural. It was just a natural thing to happen. You know, we just formed yeah. this and it, and it just came about. Uh, but I think I'm I'm probably the one that uh, yeah that does a, a bit of everything. You know, that's cool. That's cool. Sorry, one 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 thing I. I ordered the food and they just arrived and I need to yeah, ask no my problem. colleague. No problem. I need to you ask my colleague to, to to just just catch it downstairs. Just one minute. Okay. No worry. No, no worry. I'm back. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is really nice, uh, guys. I really didn't know much things about you have been in big chairs, all these things. So we didn't talk personally before. So this, I think, this is really important and nice that we are doing this yeah. series to know better block producers because yeah, you are about to cooperate for a long time with the block producers, and uh, it's definitely 
better to have a call and talk face to face. So this really yeah, yeah. Thank you for giving us the opportunity. Uh, you know, like I always say, Depos is not only about you know being good, but it's also about showing what you do so that people know who you are. Yeah. So, so this is really great. Yeah, transparency is very important. So we want to deliver as much as possible information to the stakeholders and to the users in the future. Sure. Uh, so they see clearly for whom they want to vote and what kind of team participating. So the most, the best thing, if we do not talk by ourselves, but PPs introduce themselves, is the best thing. Great, great. Uh, so you answered already a couple questions. I, I shouldn't ask what you did in the past. You already asked answer this. Um, so block production is not a problem for you. You can you can keep infrastructures pretty good. A uh, couple things few things about server infrastructure can you tell something about that yeah sure sure like we have like we actually have i think we have a good relationship between what what we have at maintaining servers with our experience but we also very happy to have matthias on board because he was part of the team that actually built uh, eos io right, with dan larimer so he knows a lot about the the system contracts as well so i think one of the things that we did I think it was important also for for for, for EOS was that we we created a non rage contract that allowed people that didn't claim their Ethereum tokens to be able to do it after the EOS launch. And it's important to mention that because we are running basically the same software that Block One is giving us, you know, everything that that we are doing, you know, we're also going to port it to all the side chains, you know. Uh, so so that is important for us. We do everything open source. That is one of our uh, values is that everything that we do is open source and open to the community uh, and you can find it on on our github um, regarding the infrastructure we use uh, bare metal servers we have uh, for mid one we have one hidden uh, server that is uh, producing and then we have one public uh, server for the api um, mm -hmm. and then we also have a server in the in the testnet and that's where we deploy our contracts before they go you know on on production so we do we do it on the testnet as well all right that's nice that's nice so bare metal is basically uh, better production than you're doing on cloud yeah what, what we're looking at is and i think is the benchmark that aloha is, is is providing and you know we're looking at cpu times mm -hmm. uh, and i think bare metals are, are are the best cpu times that that, that, that we have found uh, so that, that's how we moved everything to, to bare metal. Uh, of course, it is also important to have, you know, like to quickly be able to, you know, to spin up a node, maybe on cloud, but that would be something that we would do in an emergency um, because bare metals take us uh, one or two days to set up, but we have everything set up already. And if, and if anything did go wrong, we have um, a backup node that we can just spin it up fairly quickly. Uh, so yeah, I think regarding CPU times, I think bare metals are the best. Uh, Xeon and and even the E7 with 64 gigabytes of RAM is, is doing its job nicely as well. All right. So uh, this is question why I'm asking because many users do not know about how it works. What is the difference to running on the cloud or bare metal? So uh, sometimes we need to just share some knowledge, and it's cool that you can tell that that you have bare metal. And basically, it's also cheaper to run bare metal than run on the cloud. Am I right? Basically, what you need, I'm not sure if it's always cheaper because you need to um, set it up. And, and th there are some cloud providers that are expensive and some that are, are cheaper. Um, what, what, what I do know is that what you want is something that is dedicated only for your block production, only for your server, that is not shared with any other client. So you want the full power of that CPU because what happens is that uh, EOS has a very short uh, block production times. So uh, because we, we produce two blocks per second, so you want to produce that as fast as possible. Then you want to hand it over to the next block producer as fast as possible so that there isn't any missed blocks. Um, so that what we have found is that bare metals with um, E7s and Xeon, uh, some CN uh, CPUs are the best for that. Uh, we do. We, we also do some modifications so that we give more priority to to, to the process. 
to the Nodios process, which is the EOSIO block production software. So we give that priority one as well, and that makes and that makes it just like the best combination. So you can be there at one millisecond uh, per block, which is which is I think what we should have not only on 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 EOS but also on all side chains. So that's why we go bare metal. Um, Costs can vary, but you know you just want that dedicated server just for you know mm -hmm. side chain. Right. You don't want a lantern, so you don't want to drop in blocks. So that's why you need yeah. to, you need to to be sharp and specific with the things what you're doing. You don't want another additional task on that. It's it's really clear. Um, I would like to ask you what kind of message you want to leave for the users of Meet One in future. Right now, we don't have users and we don't have devs, but we expect in a huge amount in future. So, uh, this video sure. people will watch in future. So, what kind of message you want to leave and why users need to vote for EOS Argentina? Sure, sure. We actually are going to, you know, present a mid one side chain on a on a future meetup that we're gonna do in Argentina. And I think uh, EOS Argentina adds decentralization to the network. And we we are community members from way back, so we, we have a lot of contacts and we have a lot of contact with the community in Argentina. We want to present the side chain to developers, um, local developers and crypto community, so that people get to know Meet One and use it. So basically, why why should people vote for us is because we add decentralization. We are a very knowledgeable uh, blog producer. Um, in Very South America, true. true, and yeah, and 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 we're gonna we're gonna promote uh, this chat side chain through all our means uh, in all our meetups and with all our community. So I think it is important to have Latin America being you know represented on, on all right, side chain. All right. Cool. Um, I have one more question. Is the last question? Yes. Uh, you said before that you build in open source uh, tools for uh, EOS IO software. Yes. So uh, is mean that these tools can be possible implemented? Uh, into sure, the we, we, we already implement, we have the validation tool that we use mm -hmm. for EOSIO. We also use it for Meet one to validate the chain. We validated that um, the snapshot was correct. Uh, that tool is called Five Star, and you can find it on our GitHub. We also have a tool that's called Francis Malman. Uh, that tool is to build up um, you can wrap a lot of uh, transactions in one, and that can also be used for Meet One, and we we are using it for 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 Meet One, um, and you know we have a whole set of different tools. We have uh, you know we have tools for uh, Ruby uh, development. We also did some uh, some development on different languages, code languages, so, uh, and everything that we are doing can be implemented today on the Meet One sidechain, and we have used we used the validation tool already. Uh, on on need one, so this is something cool, that we're already cool. doing. Guys, uh, the link uh, about the tools will be down there, so you can click it and check it by yourself. So we're gonna add the link uh, to GitHub, so people can see it for just what you're doing, guys. Sure, sure. And uh, the link will be also in the article. We'll write down later and we'll translate into Chinese and deliver to the community. Uh, thank Great. you for the call, Chidi. It was really informative, short, and I don't want to make it long, so people will want to watch not long videos. And really <laughs> pleasure to meet you and give me a fist. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> That's cool. So uh, let's keep in touch. Let's talk in Telegram. Uh, guys, sure. subscribe on our channel. Follow the US Argentina news. And uh, for Argentinian community, I wish to participate in their meetups and uh, what they're doing over there. And wish you good weather and good mood. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye bye.